Okay, Mishnah Hay. So we're dealing with somebody who's stealing and then either selling or slaughtering an ox or a sheep. And mechar uh, chutz me'echad shabo. So you sold it, uh, except for one hundredth. You saved, you held on to one hundredth. You're selling it to, to some guy, but you say, I, I want a portion in it. Whatever that ox does, I, I get, I get, I, I still, I still have a, a bit of ownership in it. Or he actually had ownership in it in the first place. Meaning when he stole it, he, you know, he was a part owner. Right? So he stole from, you know, a bunch of people own, let's say, have, have partnership in a flock or whatever. So he has partial ownership in this animal. Or he shechted the animal, however, it became a novella in his hand. Meaning he was trying to shech, he, he, he stole it, and now he's shechting it. And it became a novella, so it's not kosher anymore. He messed it up, and it's dog meat, right? Or you can sell it to non-Jews, or <coughs> but it's not kosher meat anymore. He didn't do a good pshita. Hanocher, or he stabbed it to death. Ramaaker, or he does ikor, that he he knocks the simonim, uh, he knocks the uh, windpipe and the esophagus out of place, so they're no longer in the proper place to be shechted. In all those cases, Mishaim Tashlume Kefal, he has to pay the double for stealing, because you stole the animals, so you have to pay double, just like you steal anything. He does not pay, however, four and five. You put, the four and five is only paid if the, there is a full selling or a full slaughter of the animal afterwards, a proper slaughter which will allow to being able to eat it, or a proper selling which will allow it to go 100% to somebody else. But if you retain some ownership in some fashion, that's not called selling or slaughtering, or if you, you mess up the slaughtering somehow. Let's say you stole the animal out of, the animal was in its own paddock, was in its own place, and you stole it from there. Um, and then, you went and you had you slaughtered it. You sold it outside of their rishus. Uh, so you stole it there in the person's property, and you took it somewhere else and slaughtered it. Or you stole it, slaughtered it, and sold it all completely out of there. It wasn't it wasn't in their field. The animal was out in the, it was traveling in the streets or whatever. And the owner went into the store and he left the animal outside. You grabbed it, so it wasn't on his property at all. You took it and you did the whole thing. Or Oh, gun of a tavach umacher chutzmer. Okay, we said that part. Fine. So, l'sham tashlumei abav chamisha. In all these cases, you pay four and five. That's the normal case. I Meaning, you have to have stolen it and then slaughtered it in such a way that you took rishus. However, of a gun of a tavach umacher b'shusam patur. But if you go into somebody's yard, steal their animal, steal, and then you slaughter it or you sell it, and it's still on their property. You, only, you don't have to pay the, uh, um, because you haven't acquired it. You may have to pay for the damages, but it's not theft because since it was still on their property from the beginning, you never stole it. I Meaning you have to, in order to steal something, you have to take it away from somebody else. It's still on their property. Now, now you go ahead and you sell it and somebody else says, hey, wait a second, I bought this thing. You didn't buy anything. Right? It just goes back to the guy. But if you slaughtered it, okay. But you have to pay for the damages. You went into somebody's yard and killed his animal. So you have to pay for the damages. But it's not called stealing, because uh, as long as it hasn't left his property, you haven't taken, uh, you have not taken control uh, of the animal.